Hello everybody and good morning. Today we're on Interstate 80 and I'm headed westbound. Dropping off the trailer here today, but one of the things I want to do is investigate. I hear that there could be a CCS DC fast charger in Rollins. This would certainly be an improvement for DC fast charging type cars. You know, the biggest problem in going through Wyoming is there's just no DC fast charging. This may be the only one so far here in Wyoming. Let's take a look. Let's have a look now at the available DC fast charging as indicated by PlugShare. So let's go where we are. Just dropped the truck off here. And uh, right across the street is uh, the Tesla supercharger at the hotel as we can see here. Now, I do not see where the Electrify America is, but I'm smart enough to know that Electrify America generally is at Walmart. So let's head over there and uh, check it out and see if truly they are installing something there. We'll stop right up here at uh, where the supercharger is located, and uh, we'll check this out see what the condition is of the supercharger. I've used this supercharger several times when bringing my Tesla up here to Wyoming. And it's uh, in the back of this uh, Fairfield Inn. And like I said, I've been here several times. Uh, it was a 150 kilowatt and it still may be Yep, looks like still here. And uh, all eight stalls are available. Being here in Wyoming, uh, it is only catching traffic that runs east and west down Interstate 80. And of course, uh, if you are traveling, staying at the Fairfield Inn right in the same parking lot here in Rollins, Wyoming. All right, let's head over to Walmart and uh, see what we got. Here is the local Walmart. Now it's entirely possible that the Electrify America DC fast chargers are not here, but they might be. I got a hint that uh, they were here in Rollins and my assumption was they were here at the Walmart where they place a lot of them. Now I'm gonna go all the way around the building though. I think I can do that. Can I? Nope. Go the other way. Now doesn't look like the Electrify America put their chargers here in the Walmart at all. They have a uh, fueling station here, and I figured it would be in the parking lot someplace. All right, well, let's get medieval and uh, see if I can look on the Electri Electrify America app here. QRX. Just leaving Walmart. Now I know why they didn't install the chargers there. The parking lot is probably the tiniest Walmart parking lot I've seen. But... The EA chargers or Electrify America chargers are located right over here. There's a hardware store, kind of a farm store right here called Bombgars. And it's in the City Market parking lot, which is uh, right next door. It's good size. I guess that's what uh, my buddy thinks. So we're going to go this way go this way so if you're uh, coming up in your uh, CCS car 
Uh, it's not a whole lot farther than the Tesla superchargers. In fact, it's located right across the street. Okay, so here we are. They're working, looks like, on it. Got the uh, electrical something or other going here. Oh, it looks like cement guys. All right, well, let me pull up here and uh, we'll see what they have to say. Asphalt doctors. I guess they're working on uh, finishing up the asphalt here. Just good. Imagine once uh, all the stuff is in place, uh, we're good to go. We'll go and eyeball the um, chargers themselves and check them out here. Looking at the parking lot of the city uh, market here, Baumgars and then city market, and it's located right here on the uh, north side of the parking lot. Looks like there's four and uh, possibly uh, maybe going to be plumbed for more. I'm not quite sure. Yeah, I don't think I can get to them. I have to step over the, uh, the asphalt. Anyway, it does electrify America on them, so that's cool. I'm assuming uh, it's a different style of charger. It's uh, got two sets of plugs like normal, but it's uh, kind of weird because uh, they're turned sideways and uh, you can't get to the outer one unless you pull up along uh, this street here or something. I don't know, but I think it's probably long enough to fit most cars. You know, they might not have. No, they do. They've got an extra cable on the backside, too. So... Anyway, these guys are dressing up the asphalt around here and they'll probably mark the lane, so it looks good. Here's the EA switch gear, and it does look kind of like it's set up for more expansion. Oh uh, yeah, it's not gonna be installed anytime soon, and I'll tell you why. The uh, transformer isn't placed yet. This is uh, where the transformer goes. Uh, and then uh, it's fed here from this uh, plug here and then uh, it'll get its uh, three-phase power from right up above here so they haven't even wired that up I think they're probably maybe 30 days from being complete here in Rollins these are the expansion uh, where more switch gear is gonna go there you go looks like this stuff's all wired up they just need to wire uh, the switch gear where I think these are the chargers themselves. Yeah, so it says high, char high power charging station. So let's eyeball this here. Here's the placard. All right, there you go. Looks like uh, it's set up for six and uh, that's cool. And uh, set up for some expansion here as well. As soon as the transformer gets placed and everything gets commissioned, I think they'll be good to go. Here's the available chargers. Uh, as you can see, the blue dot is me sitting here by the new EA chargers. The uh, charger over here is the supercharger we just saw. So we're going to drive across town here to the KOA campsite. Let's see what we got here. So they've got a, a NEMA 1450. I'm assuming uh, you have to use your mobile connector. And see, that's why you want to have a mobile connector in your car. You never know when you might need some juice. And let's take a look at these two. This is a wall connector at the uh, Quality Inn. Now, a wall connector is defined by plug share is 120 volt AC. And let's check a look over here. And we see another uh, Rose Campground, and that is a 1450. Uh, all of these options uh, require you to have your mobile connector in your car. I always say you need to put a wall connector on your garage or where you charge and then use your mobile connector and leave it in the car because you just never know when you need juice. Well, there it is. That is uh, all of the charging opportunities here in Rollins. 
I've got a bunch of things going on while I'm here for the next few weeks and then I'll be heading home. Thanks for watching. I'll look for you in the next videos and take care.